Santa Mo Nation. I can see y'all on the back. I can see I'm in my G8 today. And basically, we're gonna be talking about uh we're gonna be talking about why every why is Dodge so popular. I was watching Omi and the Hellcat. Uh I mean I Omi and Hellcat. I was watching his video and he made some valid points about how Dodge is kind of killing the game right now and how all these other how these uh, all these other manufacturers need to step up like Ford and Chevy basically all the American made stuff need to step up because when you honestly when you get on YouTube that's all I pretty much see is Dodgers like not knocking the Dodge or anything I won't I won't get one unless they came out with the Durango Hellcat because I love my Durango that I have which is well it's parked somewhere back there but that's the only one that I would get. I wouldn't get a Charger, I wouldn't get a Challenger. Um, maybe a Jeep SRT, maybe a Trackhawk, but uh, it has to be something different. Too many people have Dodgers and Challengers and I see it way too often and I don't feel like uh, for me, it wouldn't be the best thing for me to help me grow because um, everything that could be done creatively is probably have been done already. So that's why I love my G8. The G8 is different. Not too many people know what it is. It's a story behind the G8, where it comes from. Australian based car, I got a whole video on that and everything, so make sure y'all go check that out. I'm gonna have that pop up on the end. I have to go pick a team, so I can ship the label out to go drop this order off. And then there's a couple of little things I have to do here and there. Yeah, so if you haven't seen my other video about not announcing the giveaway, I, I will be doing a giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers. And it's gonna be a, a powder coated cup with our logo on it, and I'll probably put something that the person want on it so if you don't know i do we do have rich creations llc where we make custom cups and we also make uh we also have our own motivational brand y'all see my shirt says inspire daily so we got some stuff up there already if y'all want to check it out the website is down in the link below and then I always have the the I always have the instagram up here in the corner so the two rules is going to have to be your subscriber and you have to follow the rich creation page oh yeah i gotta go put gas and then run some other little errands it seems like everybody's getting the 392 everybody's hold on let's slacking when it comes to having a powerful car like that but also having you can having it in different forms like the track hog the um something that's family oriented the durango the charger i mean Chevy, don't get me wrong mustang do have the gt500 the gt350 they got the gt the ecoboost is even they even got a sport version of the ecoboost which is pretty quick um you know, Mustang do have their things. They got the hatchback, the ST, and all that stuff. But at the same time, um, all they have, like right as of right now, all they have is the is the Mustang, basically, as as far as I know. And then you got that Mach One Mustang with that, but I don't even think that's that should be called a Mustang because 
I mean, it's an electric Mustang, which I don't know. I don't feel like that car deserved the Mustang name. But at the end of the day, GT500, GT350, GT, whatever, it's still a Mustang and they're pretty much similar. I mean, some are faster and may have a different interior a little bit or different styling, but to me, they it's the, at the end of the day, it's still a Mustang. And I don't know, some people would be mad about me saying that, but it's the it's the honest truth. At the end of the day, it's still another Mustang to me. Basically, the same thing with Chevy is they don't have a four-door anything right now to really compete with the Hellcat. So, I mean, with the Hellcat or the 392, honestly, the only thing they had to compete with it was the Chevy SS and that got discontinued. And right now, if I'm not mistaken, there's no four-door V8 that Chevy has. The only thing we have is the Camaro and a Carvette. And I mean, the Camaro, don't get me wrong, the Camaro and the Carvette, they're nice cars and stuff. But I think people still want a four-door V8. I mean, and I know some people say, hey, but you got the CTSV. We talking, I'm talking about we got the Chevy SS, but it's discontinued and not make it anymore. None will be made anymore. So the Chevy SS right now is really not in the conversation because it's discontinued. They're not making it. I, you can go buy a 2020 Hellcat. You can go buy a 2020 Charger Hellcat, whatever. <clears throat> and I know some people say, well, you got Cadillac. But a lot of the times, look at the Blackwing. Uh, the Blackwing MSRP is damn near close to 100000 So we need a... We need a affordable V8 sedan. Doesn't matter if it's, I don't think people would care if it's pace or, you know, they, people need affordable V8 sedan that can compete, a new one that can compete on the same level as the 392. And we need something that can compete beside the CTSV on the same level as the, with, with the Hellcats. That's what we need. If we if we want to blow Dodge out the water, like from a Chevy person, Chevy need to up the game up. They over here, really, I don't know what's in the same class as the Hellcat. Probably something along the lines with the BMW and stuff like that, along that lines. Uh, probably is competing with the Hellcat right now. But for sure, Chevy doesn't have anything. At the same time, Cadillac has stuff, but at the same time, is it affordable? Like, and I'm not talking about 80 90 grand i'm talking about a car that's maybe 40 50 grand maybe um i think the hellcat was going for 60 when it came out brand new i think it was at 60. now you can get them less than that used and then because a lot of people i watch do have dodges and that's just how it is because there's not too many ga channels and then because uh, cadillac has the v-line now where a lot of the cars are going to be coming with with a v-line um so you're gonna have a lot of cars with the sport model that's gonna be a little quicker than some of the SUVs and stuff. <coughs> Even rumored, I think, that the Escalade was gonna get a supercharged 6.2. It was even, I think, um, I saw another rumor saying that they was gonna keep the 6.2 supercharged in one of the V-Lines. And they was also gonna have another one just like the ATS-V, but using the ATS-V engine, but I think a little bit more tuned up. Chevy, we definitely need an affordable sedan. Hopefully, this video need to make it to them, because like we had the Chevy SS, if they would have marketed it right, then that would have, I think that would have blew up if they would have marketed it right. And then we also, y'all, they also had the, the uh, Chevy Caprice, which was the holding Caprice. We only got it as a PPV, which is police, police pursuit vehicle. But they also had a six, they also put the 6.2 in the, in the Chevy Caprice. The ones out here come with the 6.0. So we could have had, also could have had that. There's so many things that we could have had that would have, that would have went good and that people love and appreciate. But, but back to what I was talking about. So right now, honestly, there's some cars that compete with the Hellcat, but I just don't believe that they're not as popular as the Hellcat. I mean, you got Audis and you got your BMWs and stuff like that. I just said fast. But American made right now, there's nothing competing with the Dodge Charger. I mean, you got the Mustang competing with the Challenger and stuff, but Dodge doesn't have, um, I mean, Ford doesn't have a four-door sedan to compete, or four-door, or 
SUV, they got the ST Explorer, but I don't think that competes with the Trackhawk or anything or the Durango. Um, I haven't watched any videos on it, but it's supposed to be pretty quick. If I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be over 400 horsepower or something like that. But I just don't think nobody else, especially Chevy. Chevy do has the Tahoe, and you get, I think you, now you get the RST Tahoe with the 6.2 in it, but you don't really see anybody doing anything with them. You don't see much. You really don't see it much, and if you don't know about that, you just don't know about it. And that may be only to the Silverados. I know you can get the 6.2 in the Silverado, but still, I mean, it's not a supercharged or whatever. And then Dodge is also coming out with the goddamn, um, if I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the 1500 TRX. Um, with the Hellcat engine in the goddamn 1500. So they just, they just taking the Hellcat engine and putting it in everything and saying, here, you want it in a truck? Here. You want it in the, in the Jeep? Here. You want it in the big, uh, eight-seater, um, eight-seater, uh, SUV? Here, we gonna give it to you. You want, you, you want to be able to take the family around? Let them feel that supercharger? We gonna, we gonna do that for you. So Dodge right now is killing the game and Dodge is what's hot. Chevy ain't hot right now. Um, they pretty, they, they, I don't know. I feel like the Camaro's gonna die off sooner or later. The Camaro's gonna die off, and it's gonna be just about the, if they don't do something soon, I think it's gonna die off sooner or later. And it's gonna be about just the Carvette. People want a V8 sedan, and a V8 sedan with a, with, we want a V8 sedan with a supercharger or something. Something on the Chevy side, that can compete with the Hellcat. So Chevy need to up their game up. Basically is what I'm saying.